4Press is a four component compression system consisting of a padding, a crepe, a compression, and a cohesive bandage layer. The four layers work together in the management of venous leg ulcers by providing sustained compression between 30 and 40 millimeters of mercury and for use for up to seven days. The 4Press compression bandaging system is indicated for the management of venous leg ulcers and related conditions. The system, when applied as directed, provides compression for seven days. The sub bandage pressure at the ankle, if 21 centimeters in circumference, will be in the 30 to 40 millimeters of mercury range. Sub bandage pressures will be slightly higher when applied to an ankle with a smaller circumference and will be slightly lower when applied to a larger than 21 centimeter circumference ankles. 4Press should be applied by personnel that have received training on the proper application of the system. Before applying the first bandage, check the ABPI or ankle brachial pressure index using Doppler ultrasound to determine if arterial disease is present. If the ABPI is less than 0.8, do not apply the system. Next, measure the ankle circumference. If the ankle circumference is less than 18 centimeters or 7 and 1 8 inch, pad the ankle and bony prominences completely to protect against excessive sub-bandage compression, which can cause tissue necrosis. Clean the wound and apply an appropriate dressing before 4Press. 4Press is not intended to be a primary bandage. When applying each layer, make sure that the patient's foot is at a 90 degree angle to the lower leg. Layer one is the padding bandage. Wrap the padding absorption layer with the fluffy cotton side against the skin. Start applying the bandage proximal to the base of the toes. After two turns for fixation, wrap the bandage across the back of the foot and then enclose the heel. Using a spiral technique with 50% overlap, continue to wrap the leg to just below the knee, smoothing the bandage after each turn. Cut off any excess bandage and use it to pad bony prominences such as the tibial crest. This is especially important when the leg is thin and bony. Please note, when applying a compression system to the leg, it is important to enclose the heel with all layers of the system. When applying each bandage, make sure that the patient's foot is at a 90 degree angle to the lower leg. Hold each bandage as shown, so the bandage unrolls flat against the foot. Layer two is the crepe bandage. Using the same spiral bandaging technique as for layer one, start applying the bandage proximal to the base of the toes. After two turns for fixation, wrap the bandage across the back of the foot and then enclose the heel. Using a spiral technique with 50% overlap, continue to wrap the leg to just below the knee. Smooth the bandage after each turn. Cut off any excess bandage and secure the end of the padding layer with one of the tape strips provided. Layer three is the compression bandage. Begin wrapping the compression bandage without stretch at the base of the toes After two turns for fixation, wrap the bandage across the back of the foot and then enclose the heel. At the ankle, switch to using the figure eight wrapping technique. Wrap up at a 45 degree angle with 50% extension. Continue horizontally around the leg Then wrap down at a 45 degree angle, continuing to use the 50% extension. Repeat this technique, wrapping up at a 45 degree angle with 50% stretch and 50% overlap. Continue horizontally around the leg, then wrap down at a 45 degree angle. Again, continuing to use 50% extension and 50% overlap and continue the technique to just below the knee. Note, the yellow line will serve as a guide to determine the 50% overlap.
At the base of the knee, cut off any excess bandage and secure the end with a tape strip. Layer four is the cohesive bandage. We will start applying the cohesive bandage proximal to the base of the toes, but do not stretch. As you unroll the cohesive bandage, be sure to unroll enough of the bandage, approximately 18 inches to 24 inches, from the roll to complete one full turn around the leg. Allow the unrolled portion to relax, and then if stretch is needed, stretch it to 50% and apply it around the leg. After two turns for fixation, wrap the bandage across the back of the foot and then enclose the heel. Once you start up the leg, stretch the bandage to 50% of its relaxed length. Overlap each layer of the bandage by 50%. The cohesive bandage will adhere to itself, securing all of the bandages in place. To ensure that the cohesive bandage adheres firmly, let the last six to eight inches of the bandage relax before adhering it to the underlying layer. and at the base of the knee, tear off or cut any excess bandage. Mold and squeeze the bandaged leg to increase the cohesiveness of the outer layer. The patient should seek immediate medical attention if numbness or pain in the toes or feet occurs and or if the bandages become uncomfortable or irritating. If you have questions or would like additional information on Forepress, please reach out to your Hartman USA account manager or call our customer service team at 1-800-243-2294.